Mick McCarthy's men went into this match knowing they needed to score to have any chance of progressing to the Euro 2000 finals. The loss of Stephen Carr with a leg injury inside six minutes was an early setback, and it was Turkey who had the best chances in the opening period. Arif Erdem was unfortunate to see his shot fly narrowly over after turning Gary Breen. Kevin Kilban and Roy Keane both went close for the Republic. But Mick McCarthy had keeper Dean Kiley to thank after the Charlton man distinguished himself with some fine stops to ensure the match remained nil-nil at the break. Turkey had the lion's share of chances in the second half and would have won convincingly were it not for a combination of poor finishing and the fine performance of Kylie in goal. After the final whistle had sounded, police were forced to come onto the pitch to break up a fight between rival players. The nil-all draw means Ireland are out and Turkey march on to Euro 2000. Eamon Falvey, RTE News. After the game, our sports editor Tony O'Donoghue got the reaction of the players. Who is the guest? It was two hours to the big kickoff, and as the Irish team prepared for their journey by coach to the stadium, the Irish fans who had travelled to Turkey gathered at the team hotel to wish them luck. There was a huge security presence as they arrived. Already the stadium was full of fans, building the atmosphere to fever pitch. Mick McCarthy knew a hot and hostile reception awaited him, and his players and the 200 Irish fans were outnumbered by a thousand to one. As the game wore on, the tension grew. The longer Ireland held Turkey scoreless, the better the chance for a late goal that would steal the tie and ensure qualification. But as the minutes ticked down, it wasn't to be. And in a group blighted by war and earthquake, the Republic of Ireland were never going to have the rub of the green. Well, you said, we, we've not lost, have we? We've not lost in the two games. Yeah. We're out of the competition by virtue of away goals. And what I would say, what we have lost on big occasions are our big players. We lost Roy in Macedonia, we lost Quinny at home in Dublin, and we've lost Robbie tonight. And in reality, Quinny wasn't as, as forceful as he would have been if he'd have trained in the after the bad night. So, well, we've lost big players at big times, and I think that's cost us. But, uh, we move on. We move on with our chins up and our chests out as proud Irishmen. Because that's what we are. We're going over now to Tony. Well, we're hoping to go over to Tony in Bursa. Tony, can you hear me? Yes, Anne, I can hear you. Well, where, where does this leave Irish soccer, Tony? Well, I suppose uh, we haven't qualified yet again for another European uh, championship, so that's not good. But there are a number of young players who have come through. Let's be honest, uh, Mick McCarthy has been very unlucky. There were a number of players uh, injured before this game, a number of players that weren't available. So a lot of new young talent has come through. That's hope for the future. Tonight, here in Bursa, well, the team have already left the stadium. It's about one hour and 20 minutes since the kickoff. Still a great atmosphere around here. There was uh, over 1,300 police looking after uh, the fans and the Irish team. The Irish team are already on their way to the ferry port and heading for Istanbul. They'll be flying home to Ireland this evening. I can tell you here as well, though, it's uh, very, very windy. One of the reasons, perhaps, that it wasn't the prettiest game of football. I'm joined by Ray Tracy. Ray, uh, not a great game of football. Ireland still had a chance as the minutes ticked down. Yeah, I think at half-time, Mick McCarthy would have been very happy. We'd played into a very, very strong wind, as you can see from the pictures. Uh, so he would have been quite happy, thinking we would have a chance in the second half. Uh, he, I think he played his cards right. Um, I think he took every chance he had, given what he had at, at, at his disposal. So I think every player out there gave everything tonight. We didn't lose qualification here in Bursa. We probably lost qualification in Macedonia or perhaps in Zagreb against Croatia. Well, an extraordinary group it was indeed. I suppose you'll probably be glad to see the end of it. Uh, and it is the end for Ireland this evening. Uh, they're out of the European Championship 2000 campaign after a very arduous trip through the Balkans and all the uh, difficulties there. And a very difficult trip to Turkey as well. Turkey, who emerged the winners over the two legs. And uh, in the meantime, it's back to you in the studio, Anne.